So for today's video, we are going to be making these fuzzy little dust bunnies. You can fluff them up. Um, or if you're just looking for something for a little Easter bunny, you can also just leave them plain and you can just make that decision as you get going here. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with the ears. Oops, this guy does not want to sit. So you're going to make your slip knot, your loop, your magic ring, however you're used to get started. And we are going to put six single crochets into this loop. So grab your yarn, pull through, chain one and then do six single crochets into your loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to be working in the round. So if you need, grab a stitch marker. And we're just going to go into the next stitch, which will be the first stitch of your row um, from the previous row. And we are going to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around for a total of nine. So in the first stitch, one single crochet. In the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochets, one and two, well, it would be two and three, and we're just going to continue around like that. So this will be four, and your increase, five and six. And then the next stitch will be seven. And then your last stitch will be eight and nine. Okay, for uh, rows three, four, five, and six, we are just gonna do nine single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine. Flip your stitch marker. Row four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Flip your stitch marker. So for row five, nine again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Flip your stitch marker, and this will be row six. Nine more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. For row seven, we're gonna decrease. So we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease for a total of six stitches. So in first stitch is one, and then our second stitch we're gonna decrease. Just go in, grab your yarn, go in, grab your yarn, and then pull three of those three loops, and that's stitch number two. So three is a single crochet, four is a decrease, five is a single crochet, and six is a decrease. Flip your stitch marker. And now we're gonna do two rows of six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next, oops, I only did six. One row, one more row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should have now, that should have been your ninth row. Now you will slip stitch, fasten that off, leave a little bit of a tail. You probably won't need much, but if your ears don't join together properly, you want a little bit to sew if there's a hole at the top of the head. Okay, now do your second ear. For this ear, I'm gonna count it a little bit differently. Um, actually, it'll make it a little bit easier instead of having to worry about rows. That's that. I think that's why I almost missed the last row. I wasn't doing two rows of six. I was just doing 12 single crochets, but um, okay. So, just like before, you do your loop, grab your yarn, pull through, chain one, and you'll do your six single crochets. Whoops, I can't grab it. One, two, three, four, five, six, grab your stitch marker, and you're going to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around for a total of nine. So one, and an increase. Two and three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, and an increase for eight and nine. So again, rows three, four, five, and six will be nine single crochets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around um, 18 times, which is two rows of nine. And then I'm going to go around another 18 times, which will be four rows of nine. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's our first row of nine. I'm gonna keep counting to 18, so it's easier for me to remember what row I'm on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's my second row, and I know I have two more rows left. I'm going to start counting at one again to 18. One, maybe my yarn will come out. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Always flip your stitch mark over just in case if you're using one. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we should have just done four rows of nine. Now if you're unsure and you need to double check, we should be on, I've just finished row six. So there's your first six. So that's row one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are ready to start row seven, which is our decrease row, which will be one single crochet, one decrease and repeat. So one, and then decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, and decrease for six. And now row eight and nine is two rows of six single crochets, and I'll be counting to 12. And I'll flip my stitch, stitch marker when I hit the six mark. So one, yeah, if it, if it doesn't get in my way, two, three, four, five and six so that's our first row of six flip our stitch marker and i'm going to keep counting to 12 seven eight nine ten Eleven and twelve. Usually, I wouldn't have even used a stitch marker because I've made a few of these now, and I know my counts. Um, let me know if you like it better that way, because usually I count each row. It's okay. You're gonna slip stitch. Don't tie off. Don't cut it off. Anyways, if you like it better when you do the multiple rows, counting up. As long as you can add it in your head without thinking about it, that's how I usually do. Like if I had, say, three rows of five to do, I would do 15 instead of, you know. Okay, 
So I'm going to stop this and restart it just in case I mess up. Not that you guys needed to know I was doing that, but okay. So now you're going to join your ears together. So you have your last um, stitch in your second ear and you are going to come over to your first ear and right here, the stitch. So this is where you slip stitch the stitch in front of that. That's where you're going to go in and you're going to do one single crochet. Do I have my, yep. And then you're going to go all the way around the leg, five more stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five. And just now in the same stitch you slip stitched is where you're going to put your sixth one and kind of pull that knot back and tighten it up. I'm sorry, I said legs. I'm so used to doing this for legs. This is the first time I've done it for ears, but it seems to work out. So for the next row, you have a stitch here. It's gonna be hard to tell, but that is where your last stitch was on your ear. So your next stitch to join the ear will be just in front of that. And you'll do six more, whoops, six more all the way around. So for a total of 12. So what was six? So seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. 11 and 12 and that looks like it's about right if I can get in there so it should look kind of like this and you're going to start your next stitch right kind of in that hole right there um, I'm going to grab my stitch marker Usually when I do this, I'm kind of forgiving because I have a couple extra rows where you can fix your stitches. This next row, you're going to have to make sure you have 12 stitches because there's no, well, you could fix it, but I don't, it might not look as nice. Okay, so down right in the middle there, that's your first stitch A row. Oh, we're starting, that was row one, so we're starting row two here. So we want 12. One, two, three, four, excuse me, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you should end up right before, right where your stitch marker is. That's your last stitch. That'll be your next stitch of the next row. If you're not there, take out your last row or see where you made your mistake. You can try and fix it by putting an extra stitch or a decreased stitch. I don't know how that works out in the final. Um, I guess if you're brushing it out, you probably won't notice, but you definitely need 12 stitches right now at the end of row two of the head. Okay, so for row three, we're gonna do one single crochet, one increase for a total of 18. So one, Two and three in the next stitch. Four in the next stitch. Five and six in the next stitch. I'm getting all squeaky here. Yeah. 
<laughs> These lights are making my hands hurt hot. Seven. Eight and nine. Ten. Eleven and twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen. And seventeen and eighteen in the last stitch. Okay, that was row three. So for row four, you're going to do two single crochets and an increase for a total of 24. So one single crochet and then a single crochet in the next for two and then an increase for three and four. And just repeat all the way around. So five in the next stitch, six in the next stitch, seven and eight in the next stitch, nine, ten, and an increase for eleven and twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15 and 16 in the next stitch, 17, 18, 19 and 20 in the next stitch, 21, 22, whoops, and then 23 and 24 in the last stitch. Okay, so for row, the next rows five to nine, we're gonna be doing 24 single crochets all the way around. Um, so that's five rows. So I am going to count two sets of 48 and then a set of uh, 24. And I will flip my stitch marker between each row of 24. So in total, we will be end up on row nine. So this is row five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <clears throat> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Flip your stitch marker and I'm going to continue counting up to 48. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 
and 48 so that was row five and six and I've done two rows of my five rows I'm gonna start another set of 48 for the next two rows so it'll be seven and eight one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that was my third row. I hope I'm not confusing you by doing it this way. So I'm gonna keep counting. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, oops, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 and 48 and now for row nine and our fifth row of um i already forgot what we were doing 24 single crochets now this time i will only count to 24. so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oops, 21, 22, whoops, not 22, 22, 23, and 24. So now you should be ready to start our decrease rows, um, row 10. And for row 10, sorry, I got my pattern way over far away from me and I'm not marking it. Row 10 is two single crochets, one decrease for a total of 18. So one, 
and two, and then a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six. And seven, and eight, and nine is a decrease. Ten, eleven, and twelve will be a decrease. Thirteen. 14, and 15 is a decrease, 16, 17, and 18 is a decrease. Um, okay, row 11. It's just 18 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Goodness, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. I think, okay, now we're going to stop for a second. Um, if you're going to make the bunny, um, just ignore the next, or the bunny, yeah, we're making the bunny. If you're not going to fluff him up, I'm just going to do a quick little um, explanation and then We'll skip on over to the next part. So for the bunny, if you're fluffing him up, this one, I did the whole bunny, added the eyes and nose, and then fluffed him up. I don't know. Oh, see, look. Not a good idea. I scratched up. And this, I put a little bit of water on there to kind of hide it. But his eyes are just scratched right up. See if you can see, see the difference there. I don't know if you can. Now that I added the water. I guess the water helped. But I mean, I couldn't get under the eyes very good. And I did scratch up his little toes a little bit. And I think I... Oh, I didn't even barely do the back around his tail. Oopsie. I wasn't supposed to show that. And then if you look at this guy, he looks way much nicer. Putting the eyes, nose, and then finishing the feet and the bottom afterwards. Okay. So we can get rid of this stitch marker temporarily. Tuck this little chunk of string in there. If you need to, now, if there's a hole in there, you can use that to stitch it up. But I'm fine with the size of the hole in there right now. You're going to want to pull this out a little bit. Grab your um, wire brush. I'm going to use this one. It's just a little tiny cat dog brush. I think from Walmart. I just the other day purchased these just in the paint section. I'm undecided. I did, I did this one. Now it's hard to tell because I had to go around the eyes, but I did the brown bunny with the steel brushes. And then I did the gray bunny with the cat dog brush. And I know I spent a little more time on it, but it did turn out better. So I, 
I need to use these a little more and see if they're awesome to hold. I love holding these. This one though, I'm just used to it, I think. So you're just gonna fold it. Let's see, where's the, I guess this will be the back. Just start brushing. I'm sorry, I haven't, I'm not really great at it. <laughs> what you wanna do, don't hit these stitches down here because you're gonna need those and try not to go too far up the ears unless you want the ears fuzzy I thought it might be cute to have like the backs of the ears fuzzy but by the time I brushed all these guys out I was no I did enough brushing so I just kind of protect the ears and I'm not going to do this whole thing with you because I think you got the point and all you're going to hear is me going pew, 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 pew. so just keep brushing it as you get some of this going, just take it and turn it a bit and then brush the next set and then keep going around. And then I went the other way. So I would have, so I was going this way. So then I started going, ah, I turned it upside down and started doing the other way. Don't get those strings. And then when I was done that part, I just kind of went, so I was right along these stitches, and I just kind of gave it some, just like that. And then I flipped it around, and I did the same thing with the ears, so I was about right here. Fold them over, and just go like this. And then once I did this way and this way twice, I did it so that I was going up and down all the way around instead of side to side. And then I also did this way, very careful not to hit the um, stitches on the bottom. Okay, you guys can figure that out. I'm going to do this part off camera and I will meet you guys back to add the, excuse me, oh my goodness, to add the eyes and finish off the bottom and put the feet and the tails on. Still all know so. So watch your fingers and I will meet you back here in a few minutes. Well, it'll be a few minutes in internet time. Okay, so hopefully you've brushed um, how, however you like to have it. I think I'm pretty happy with this. You're going to want to find um, your flat side so it's even on both sides. So this is your front. And then your back will be where you left off. And you're, you're going to do one stitch and then you're going to do a um, puff stitch for the tail. So you're going to want to make sure that that's in the center. So if you've ended up like over here or I doubt you'd be over here, but over here, put one extra stitch in there. So your tail's in the center because as you go around and do your feet, you're going to want your feet in the center too. So I just kind of move it a little bit so that it's where I want it. So your one stitch will be here and your tail will be right here. And that for me is the center. So when you get to this stage, you're going to want to part your hair a little bit so you can see your rows right down the center if you can. And you're going to go up about five rows. I didn't get that very good. So this is your first row. Row one, row two, row three, row four, and row five. And right in this area is where you're gonna put your nose. And I have this little kit that I bought that comes with a bunch of different sizes of eyes and noses. 
Um, if you're stitching a nose on, you can put it on pretty much any time you want. But if you've got little noses, put your nose on now. Just in the center there. And then brush your hair up. And you're going to grab, what size of eyes? I'm using 10 millimeter eyes. And you're just going to put them just in the next row above and one or two stitches over. You're going to do this one two stitches over. So the next row up and two stitches. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong eye. That was obviously lucky that it was a huge one I grabbed. Um, just kind of see if you like the placement. It looks a little too close to the nose, but it might be how I have it sitting. Yeah, I think I just have it sitting funny in the stitch. Put your backs on. I put my nose back on first. I can grab one. Holy moly. Come on. And just when, of course, just when you're putting it on, I do one click. And then I just double check that it's straight and not crooked. You can kind of turn it a bit once you have it snapped on, but it's way easier to make sure the first time. I'll just to give it another click or two. How many it'll let ya. And then put your eyes on. Um, I don't use any glue, but a lot of people will put glue on too, just to help secure them a bit. Unless it's a really tiny one and it's a looser stitch. I don't worry too much. I, t I crochet pretty tight. But if you don't crochet very tight, you might want to do something a little different with it. Wow, I never have this much trouble. Let's get a different one. Nope, I'm not getting a different one. There we go. And then just, I mean, you'll fix this later, but... You're still, as you touch it, you kind of mess it up a bit. Okay, so anybody that's not brushing, this is where you'll join us again. If you're just going to make the bunny as it is. I got my thread on the wrong side of my camera tripod -y thing. Uh, I'm going to use a stitch marker just in case anybody here needs using one. And this will be row 12. So get your hook back in. And if you want to make sure it's not twisted, you'll just watch a nice smooth flow from one side to the other there like that. Okay, so here's your last stitch. So you're going to go in this one next. So you're going to do one single crochet and make sure you pull this hair down as you're going. That doesn't feel right, but it is. And then we're going to do a puff stitch. I think it's puff. I think, I don't know if it's puff or cluster, but if it's a cluster stitch, we're not closing it like you usually do. So we're going to do a yarn over, in through the hole, grab your yarn, and pull up through. And we're going to do that a total of five times. So we're going to do that four more times. So yarn over, in through the hole, grab your yarn, pull up. That's two. Do it a third time. Four. And the fifth one's a little tricky, but let's get her in. Just make sure you're going in the same stitch for all of those loops. 
And let's see, I actually haven't counted this. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's eight and a nine. I, I think I have 11. It's, I mean, I just started doing it. I didn't really, I never tried another amount. As long as you, you're happy with your little puff. And then we are gonna do, I think, six single crochets. Yep, six. So one. And I give this a little bit of a pull to make that pop out a bit. Two. Three. Four. five and six now we're going to do three little puff stitches exactly the same as we did this only we're going to do it three times instead of five so we yarn over into the next stitch grab your yarn pull up through yarn over into your next stitch grab your yarn pull it through and yarn over into your stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches on our hook, our loops. And then pull through all of those. And then we're gonna do the same thing in the next two stitches. So one time, two times, and three times. And then pull through. And we're gonna do that one more time. One, two, and three. And then pull through all the loops on the hook. And then we're gonna do one single crochet right here in the front. And if you counted right and your stitches were right, you'll be right under your nose in the center of the front. So one single crochet. Give it a bit of a tug to tie those cluster stitches in. And then we're going to do three more for the three toes on this side. So three times into that stitch. One, two, and three. And pull through all your loops. And then do your second cluster in the next stitch. One, two, and three, and pull through all those loops, and one more time in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Hopefully I didn't go too fast there for you guys. I apologize if I did. Just pause the video and go back if you're not sure if you missed a step. Go all the way back to the tail if you need to. And then go through it with me again. And then we should have three stitches left, I believe. Yep, three. So one. Give that a bit of a tug. Two. And three. And we're back to our stitch marker. Okay, and for row... 13 we're going to be going in the back loop only so instead of going in here like we usually would we find our little V and we go in the back of the stitch and we skip the front loop and we are going to do one single crochet one decrease all the way around for a total of 12 so in the back loop I'm gonna try doing this through the camera so see how that goes. So that's one, then a decrease in the back loop, grab your yarn, the next back loop, grab your yarn, and then pull through the three. So that's two. Three. And then a decrease. Four. 
for four. And a five. And a decrease for six. Sorry, I can't do it without twisting the whole thing around. I guess I crochet with two hands, not one. <laughs> so that was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven is a single. Eight is a decrease. Oops. Yeah. Nine. And ten is a decrease. Try to make sure you're getting these tighter than I am. I'm looking through the camera, so I'm not doing it good, but. And then 11 for a single. And 12 is a decrease. And you're gonna grab your stuffing. And you're gonna stuff your little guy. I'm going to get rid of my stitch marker. Oh, <laughs> he wants to go in. Sorry. I might need you later. Um, you're going to want it fairly firm. I like to stretch mine out sideways a bit. So I'll get some stuffing in there. And then I get my fingers down in and I pull. Don't stretch here if you can help it. But get down inside and get your fingers kind of out to the sides. And then once you close it up, you just stick a little bit in the center there. I'm not looking too bad. Oh, this was... I know this is really kind of late for a bunny. It's like two days before Easter. For the last two months, I have been trying to find something to do for Easter for um, a YouTube. And it is so hard, I tell you guys, to find something that's original. Just when I think I got something, someone will post something somewhere or I'll search, search Google and it's either almost my exact idea or it's cuter it's like well why make what I was thinking of is if there's 10 more just like it that are even cuter than what I was gonna make like even just putting a bunny on a bow on a bunny I was like well I guess I'm not doing that anyways my daughter's already claimed this gray one so I guess they turned out okay <laughs> or this gray one I should say Okay, sorry, let's get back to it. So we're going to do two decreases, or not two, six decreases all the way around for a total of six. So one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay, and then you'll just tie that off. Single crochet in there. Oops, I'm not watching if I'm on the camera or not. There we go. Anyway, back to what I was saying. There's so many cute things out there and I just can't, I don't even, like, what's the rules? Like, if you see somebody and it's an idea and you can make it, do you make it? Or do you like, well, that wasn't my idea, even though I can make it, I shouldn't, right? I don't know what the rules are. But then again, say you go and look up crochet um, chicken, you know, like the egg-shaped chickens. 
there's probably 20 different ones that pretty much are all the same. I mean, the stitches might be a bit different. So do I make an egg shape and a beak and two eyes and wings and say, yeah, it's my pattern? Because, I mean, even though it is, and I didn't follow a pattern, I don't know. The moral issues, I guess, is what I'm worried about. Let me close this up. I do have an idea. I should sneak peek it. I'm so scared of it being stolen, though, because so many... I almost think a couple of my ideas were stolen. I've seen a few patterns that look almost exactly like what I've done. What do you do? I mean, I know for sure there's a very specific mouth I made, and I've seen it three times on somebody else's stuff. I guess I just don't have the balls to do that. But it's a shame. But when you put free stuff out, it's out there in the world, right, for anybody. Oh, and I should say, I have had people ask about selling stuff they've made. Yes. If you've made it, sell it. I don't care. That's why I'm making it. <laughs> I've sold other people's YouTube stuff and I'm pretty sure that's why it's out there. Sell as many as you want. But uh, if you do post it online, make sure you like credit, credit my channel or my video or something. That's always appreciated. I'd love to see more of the stuff you guys make off my channel posted on my Facebook page. I think I think a couple of people have posted an oxalotl. I can't remember if there's a huggy wuggy. There is, but it might be mine. But for sure there's been about two two or three people, but I know you guys are making this stuff and I just wanted to see it, even the colors. Okay, so we're done. If you need to, you can give it a bit of a brush. Um, I guess I should say like, subscribe, comment, um, request stuff. If you have an idea, there's so many, like I'm totally out of the loop when it comes to little kid cartoon characters. My kids are like um, in their late 20s now, so I don't know what's what's um, popular anymore. Um, I guess that's it. Go out and make your little dust bunnies. I think even like a little bow or a flower might be cute up here too, if you guys want to do that. Okay, thanks for watching. Happy crocheting!